Hey everyone. So I have a question. What's a feature film? When you make a, a feature, what do you think of as being the uh, time frame, the running time, I mean, that you're aiming for to differentiate that from a short film? Now I have to say that a lot of, I think a lot of our expectations about feature films and what qualifies as a feature come from a, uh, from the exhibition practices of Hollywood, from the theatrical model. And, you know, briefly, if you think about it, a feature film, by that definition, is basically something that can stand alone as, a, as an experience in the theater that can provide, you know, that evening's entertainment and that people are willing to pay, uh, you know, whatever it is now, 15, 18, well, you know, however many dollars you're paying to sit and watch it in a theater. And that idea has changed over the years, because if you go back, you know, decades, I mean, I'm talking back to like the 30s and 40s when double features were still uh, very, you know, common in movie theaters, you'll notice that oftentimes feature films, especially the second feature on the program, would run a little shorter. It might only be an hour or 70 minutes, sometimes even a little less than an hour. And that was just because uh, it was part of a larger program. When you go to the theater, you get two feature films, short subjects, cartoons, that kind of thing. So there wasn't this need for a single film to provide, you know, X number of minutes of entertainment. But today with movies in the theater being a, a standalone experience, and especially as ticket prices have increased a lot in, in recent years, I think that there is an expectation that films will provide, you know, in some cases at least two hours of uh, entertainment, you know, bare minimum. I mean, it's been, I think it's been a really long time that I can think of since I went to a first-run Hollywood movie that ran less than, you know, 100 minutes or 110 minutes. I mean, I, I feel like now that's actually on, like, the shorter end of the scale. I can't even remember the last one I saw that was, like, under 90 minutes. I'm sure there's, like, some, uh, you know, films aimed at kids or, you know, family films, that type of thing that might have a shorter running time. But anything I've seen in the last... Really, the last decade, I think, has, has run close to two hours, and, uh, and often longer than that. So, um, anyway, what does this mean for DIY and indie features and everything? Well, I think the great thing about it is that we can, we can step away from this idea of a feature having to be a standalone program in a theater that people are paying you know, X number of dollars to watch. One of the things that I really uh, appreciate about this discussion that I've heard from the um, you know, especially like within this folk filmmaking community on YouTube and this idea of making features is that it seems like the uh, definition of the feature has been opened up to include any film running 40 minutes or longer. And I think this is actually a great time, uh, running time frame to think about because, well, for one thing, if you look at the standards of, uh, set by the American Film Institute, the British Film Institute, and the Motion Picture Academy, all three of those organizations define a feature film as running 40 minutes or longer. So there's a precedent for it there. But also it really allows filmmakers to get away from this idea of having to provide um, a film that you know is at least two hours long or at least an hour and a half long or whatever. And so it's like, it's like, a, it's like a great balance because on the one hand, you know, you can agree that, all right, we're going to take more time, give ourselves more time to tell our story, to get our ideas across beyond the, you know, what you might be able to do in a short film. But at the same time, there's not this need to pad it out. There's not this need to, to, to um, impose a length uh, or a running time on a film that, that where you, you know, find yourself kind of drawing ideas out or maybe, uh, uh, you, know, you know, running out of things to say, right? So I feel like this 40 minutes and up has really opened up a, a great... It's, a, it's an area that has largely been unexplored by filmmakers, I think. If you look... At, because if you think about this, uh, the short, short films at festivals tend to actually run pretty, on the, pretty much on the short side. I mean, I've heard, you know, 20 minutes or less. I've even heard 10 minutes or less is uh, preferable for a lot of festivals where they're trying to program a certain number of shorts within a certain, uh, you know programming block. So, and then of course, you know, commercial feature films running 80, 90 minutes or more. So I feel like there's this whole kind of this window there of, um, running times that have, have basically been unexplored in a lot of cases. 
you know, it gives, it gives you a certain amount of time to tell your story, but to do it in a way that maybe wasn't always commercially viable uh, because of the, you see what I'm saying? Because of the requirements of that a film has to run X number of minutes long to play in a theater, or it, you know, it has to be shorter than X number of minutes to play in a festival, a short film festival, or whatever. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the freedom that releasing your film for free on YouTube, uh, uh, you know, unburdened by all these commercial restrictions, has opened up uh, an opportunity to tell stories and convey ideas in a length that a lot of filmmakers have traditionally not really been able to do. Now, there have been exceptions to this. Um, as I said, you know, if you go back and look at a lot of the films made, even in Hollywood, back in the 30s and 40s, there were a lot of movies that would run just, you know, over an hour, 70 minutes. Uh, and then there, there are plenty of um, films, I think really great films, that have a, you know, shorter uh, running time while still qualifying as a feature, like Jean Vigo's Zero for Conduct or Louis Buñuel's Simon of the Desert. Uh, both of those films run between like 40 and 45 minutes. So there are, of course, examples of it out there, but I think they're, they're kind of the exceptions. You know, they're, they're the, these are the films that are the exceptions to this kind of commercial exhibition rule um, that, that there is a, a uh, certain minimum that you're expected to meet for your running time. Um, but a lot of the films that I've watched here on YouTube will run between, uh, you know, 40, 45, 50 minutes. And I find that to be a really interesting length because, like I said, it allows you to explore ideas in greater depth than you might be able to do with a, say, a 20-minute short. But at the same time, it's, uh, you're not drawing things out purely for the commercial considerations of, of a theatrical release. And uh, so I, all of this is you know, a way of saying that I think 40 minutes is a really useful definition for a feature film. And I think it's great now that filmmakers can explore telling their stories in these time frames in a way that before would not have been, uh, it would not have been advisable because of the commercial considerations uh, that, that came into play. Anyway, um, I'd, I, you know, I'd be curious if you have any thoughts on what a feature film means to you and how you think about this uh, this difference between like the Hollywood theatrical feature and the theatric and and the um, feature that gets you know you can release on YouTube free from these kind of commercial considerations? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, but as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.